And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody. God bless you. We are live on air. Welcome everybody. I hope you're all doing okay. I hope everybody is healthy and whole and well. I know it has been at least a week that I did a live show. I had my good reasons for not coming live. So please bear with me. I hope everybody is healthy. Thank you for joining in guys. Let me first say to our beloved audience, hello. Debit Rai, how are you my friend? iPhone 3G, Rody, TM Crosspulse, Sam Weller, Peter, Bruno, There are many of you actually at the moment. So please, if I'm not mentioning your name, Carrie Ann, Phyllis, Black Angel, Zoraida, and man, all of you, welcome. Thank you for being here. Without you, we cannot do this. We have 54, 55 people watching now and the numbers are growing. God is good. Guys, did you like my um, new uh, starting uh, design? I created this because now we have finally the time to work on our new layout and designs, right? Because of the lockdown, because of the Corona lockdown, we can uh, finally introduce something modern. You liked it, guys, especially with the uh, countdown uh, stuff and whatnot. Yeah, I was busy with uh, Adobe After Effects and that's what turned out to be the final product. And as you see, I also worked on my uh, background and uh, some new uh, logos and whatnot. Yeah, I didn't pick actually a topic today because I missed you guys. I love you all, including the Muslims who are watching. Because I've missed you, I was like, let me do a nice live Q&A with our audience, with our beloved subscribers in the live chat. And we will also open up Skype and uh, we will go from there. So if there are questions or you want to call us, we'll open up Skype. But before we do that, guys, let me ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So our live stream can be blessed and we can be guided through today's live show. Pray with me. Dear Lord, 
bless our beloved audience and subscribers because without them we cannot do this guys god thank you for these lovely brethren in christ lord thank you for your grace jesus was truly risen and indeed he's risen al masih qam haqqan qam that's how we say it in the arabic thank you lord for your ultimate gift thank you for your grace that saved us from death and thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in day out for the last year please bless them and their loved ones please god keep all of us healthy and safe especially from the spread of this corona virus i mean the coronavirus father enfold us in your arms help us not to lean on our own understanding but in everything acknowledge you lord so that you can direct our words thoughts and actions give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement deception taqiyya mekr lies or any doubt lord lord help us on you in all our ways Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open their eyes too, so they can also be saved like we are saved through your blood. Oh, Holy Lord, your name, which is above all names. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any shame, without any error. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today, as we said, to have a nice live Q&A session with our audience and subscribers. On top of that, any Muslim source that we are going to quote today either if it's from the quran or hadith anything that muhammad and his fake god said will be used against him in the court of law so i hope that allah is not asleep again he did not fall asleep again and will protect him and be his personal lifeguard and attorney during today's hearing again to defend him in the court of law last but not least when i finish my teaching we will have some questions maybe some uh, some people may are struggling if you want to call whatever you can call us and we will take it from there guys so welcome everybody invite your friends maybe you can share the link if the admins want to do so share the link in the live chat you can also share my skype id in the live chat if we have admins with us i see that maybe we are in need of some new admins anyone who wants to be an admin a new admin i can make you an admin if you like we have abdul halik Keep him in your prayers, guys. A very wonderful friend in Christ. iPhone 3G says me. Okay, let me make you an admin, my friend. It's never bad to introduce new admins. Uh, add you. Okay, you're added, Mr. iPhone 3G. Welcome as an admin. Anyone else? Debit Ride, do you want to be an admin? I, I think you want to be an admin. Let me make you an admin, too. He's also another amazing brother. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe a lady, Tamara, wants to be an admin. Okay, let us make Tamara an admin too. All right. We have three new admins. Welcome. Keep them in their pra your prayers, guys. They're going to help us keep uh, the chat uh, safe, uh, healthy, um, without any bad name calling. So, guys, make sure to not call anyone including the muslims because they are in need guys don't ever call them bad names i know they are insulting us they are insulting us at least five times a day when they pray right and they repeat it many times so 
at least 17 times in total they are insulting us they are asking Allah to not curse them as they cursed the Jews and the Christians so don't be like them guys guys I also want to say special thanks to our beloved supporters who are supporting us our full-time ministries through patreon on my patreon link patreon.com slash rob christian i tried to remove the the last name so i want to say thank you to all r antimos asimakis bb debit r dennis c dolora s edwin j Justinus, france s georgia edge hector r mansu mr smiley queen m sam j vitor Walter, and zeon d thank you so much without you guys we cannot get new equipment because of you guys a year ago for the people who do not know because of your donations we uh, managed to buy a new computer it's not be the best computer that i got but because of you guys i bought a new computer to to my live streaming because a year ago i could not stream very well with my old computer and because of your amazing support through patreon we managed to do so so now i'm behind a new pc i will soon also need some <clears throat> Or equipment to get better sound and you know because of you guys only because of you so guys thank you I will keep you in, in my prayers too I'm not doing this for myself guys. I'm here to serve I mean our Holy Lord and Savior came to serve us it's not a big task to serve if we have the qualities I know I'm replaceable guys you don't need me okay you don't need me but if it's the plan of God to teach and use my qualities especially because I'm an Arabic speaker from the Middle East we can use this language against Muhammad against the false teaching of Islam in the court of law so thank you guys thank you so much let us open Skype let us open Skype and let's see if we can take some calls let's see guys don't forget to subscribe also smash that like button click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live let's see if we can let me let me call our friend debit right debit right i'm going to call you my friend sure no problem debit right send me a message can i call let me call you i received your message hi assalamu alaikum mahabbat yes al masima assalamu alaik habibi welcome how are you my friend i'm fine i'm fine uh first of all i just want to thank god uh, for uh, for this position even though i'm not worthy of it i'll do my best <laughs> thank you thank you for your uh, support through patreon my friend uh, yeah you're an amazing brother god bless you god bless your family thank you shukran go shukran ahead, habibi um, your, your life on air go ahead what do you want to share um, with us uh bro christian it's just that i'm really really a bit fed up with uh, some muslim they're trying to cover up saying you know the um, surah 354 uh let's let me open up the quran guys three and then 44 uh 54 oh, the 54 okay <laughs> let me go there so you know people can see also the eye on the screen 54 yeah let's see okay uh, go ahead uh basically i mean i do read articles but i just want to make sure that i uh, kind of get it right um you know that it says they conspire and some of them they say they plan some of them this is a scheme and some yeah. of them they say plan yeah, so I wanna... Isa, right the Islamic Islamic Jesus the fake Isa yeah exactly go okay. ahead and then but then I'm not quite sure um what about they deceive and Allah deceive 
and mm. uh, Allah is the best of deceivers. Is that yeah. false translation or what? Yeah, the, the translation that you see here on the screen, it says, and the disbelievers conspired to okay. kill Isa, and Allah covertly planned to destroy them, and Allah is the best of secret planners. There's nothing called secret planners, okay. because it's talking about Mekr, wa makara Allah. Allah, they deceived, okay. and Allah deceived, wa okay. makara, right? Mm. Mekr is deception. Okay. But, but so, so Allah and Allah is khairul makarin. Allah is the best of deceivers. So of course this is a really nasty, evil, false translation. Because uh, you know Muslims when they you know they want to cover up, they are going to tap dance. And yeah, lie. yeah. This is a, they, I always see them. They say no RC. It doesn't say that RC. <laughs> and I, I'm like, I try. I'm like, do you know where I can find in the dictionary something like that? Like you know, uh, this I try. Deception, sometimes Google what Translate. You, yeah, what you can do, let me let me see if I... Uh, let, let us copy this word. Let's see what Google Translate will give us, right? And the thing is, even though the thing is, when I try to translate it, Google Translate, I even mm. don't know which one is the, which one is the you know, the deceive or, um, you know, Let's the see. correct word. We can go to Translate. <clears throat> this is the word. Okay. Let's see if we can switch it up. Uh, it does. It does say quatil. Oh no, look, sorry. Uh, look, do okay. you know the meaning of cunning, my friend? Do you meaning? Do you know the meaning of cunning? Yeah, like something. It's deception. Uh, is it? So the, I I only copy the word, right? <laughs> this is the mm. word. I can also use this. Okay. Let's see what this one says. You know, I don't need the translation because I'm not. I can again cunning. Anyone in the in the in the chat. Look, look, these are the synonyms, right? Mech, okay. cunning, craftiness, slyness. It's all really bad words. This seed, do you see? The seed, let me make the screen bigger. Do you see it, guys? Yeah. Deception. Okay. So how did deception, <clears throat> the seed, became planning to trick? Do you see it? It's negative. It's evil, right? Okay. So if they are doing an act of evil, which, mm. which is deception. Okay. And Allah, <laughs> Allah is deceiving too, and mm. Allah is this, the best best deceiver. Do you see it? Okay. So it's the same word. So uh, when they are trying to use false translation, they yeah. are using the same deception that Allah is using. But make sure to know and understand Allah is the best deceiver. Um, CP, uh, no, sorry, uh, sorry, I can't get the habit of saying CP. Uh, RC, you know, like, um, uh, I, I I think in Wikipedia, Wiki Islam something is said that Allah is named the best deceiver. The deceiver, I mean, like that. Yeah, is this do deceiver? You, the ninety. Do you know which part of the ninety nine names I can find that? Al Makr. Al Makr. Al Makr. That's one of his ninety nine names. By the way, the ninety nine <coughs> names. Mm. I challenge any Muslim. I hope. We have Muslim audience who are listening. I'm not sure if we have Muslims. But I challenge the biggest, the biggest two stars. I challenge the biggest Imam, the biggest Al-Azhar Shaykh. If he can show me all the 99 names in the Quran, you will not find it. There are at least 26 names missing from the Quran. Imagine, uh, they claim that Allah has 99 <coughs> names and 26 are missing. For example, mm. Al-Rashid. Mm. It's not in the Quran. Mm. So how they how they dare to say that Allah has 19 names is for me the one million dollar question. How I mean, dare you? How dare you to say that Allah has 99 names? So basically, uh, I think yesterday we had live with CP, and CP was talking about how uh, the there are like three more than 300 names of lion, right? Yeah. And then the, what's funny thing is that Allah has only 99 names, while the lion has like more than 300 names. Yeah. What is called to be so I, I find that a really bit kind of hilarious. So how come Allah only has like ninety nine names though? Yeah, yeah but he, Allah has no nine ninety names. Like I said, they mm. claim that Allah has ninety nine names, but show mm. me all the ninety nine names in the Quran. You can't find them all. Mm. It's a lie. It's deception. Again, deception mm. to deceive poor non Arabic speaking Muslims, mm. Muslims who are not speaking Arabic, and those are actually around. 75% of the Muslim world, 75% of the Muslim world do not speak and understand Arabic. Oh. So 
In other words, when they say that Allah is the best of planners, they are, those 75% are nothing but poor victims of this Arab man-made cult. Oh. Um, RC, do you know any uh, Arabic English dictionary that you could suggest us so that we can actually think, look into I it? Think, I think you can use Almani, but I myself, to be honest with you, I don't use any dictionary. So uh, just of course Google, you, uh, you know, just Google, but I think there's um, maybe the admins, they can provide one in the live chat, uh, but I myself, I don't need a dictionary, so I don't mm. use them, to be honest with you. But All I right. think you can look for Almani, that's one. That Almani.com, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think, that yeah, one. that's it. Um, Hopefully, yeah. I'll be able to uh, read through it again. And thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless all the audience. God bless all. Thank you all for Amen, everything. My friend. Keep supporting uh, RC. And I only list uh, and RC. Hopefully, when I get to job, inshallah, uh, I would be a diehard supporter in Patreon. <laughs> yeah, my friend. Don't never never say inshallah. Never never use the word Allah because Allah is not our God. You know. I'm not uh. trying, you know, I know you, maybe you, you made that a small mistake, but Allah is not our God. Our God's name is the I am. You know, I as an Arabic speaker, mm. sometimes Muslims, you know, uh, they, they, they try to trick non-Arabic speaker. They say, you know, the Arabic speaking Christians in mm. the Middle East, yeah. they use the word Allah. That's true. We use the word Allah when we talk, but mm. when we pray, mm. when we pray, we don't use the word Allah because Allah is not our God. It's mm. the name that is forced on us when they took our countries with the sword of mm. Muhammad, right? Mm. So, my friend, the word Allah, don't you try not to use it. Uh, how right? about, uh, how to say, if you could teach how to say good, God willing in Arabic then? al rab just use al rab which means the Lord, Rabbi, my Lord. So when I, when I pray in my native tongue, I say, Ya Rabbi, you know, okay. I invoke my God, Ya Rabbi, oh my Lord. That's mm. the best way to do to say it. And then, do you think uh, this one? This is a short interview as well. Do you yeah. think you're gonna do like an Arabic cl class soon, someday, or? Uh, I wish, I wish, my <laughs> friend, but I hardly, as you see, I hardly have time sometimes to do a live show. You know, I try to do a live show at least once a week. Yeah. So imagine if I'm, you know, um, you know. I, I love to, but I don't have the time, right? And we are in film ministry. We try to upload Sonu and then uh, small videos because we get a lot of messages from uh, many of our friends. <coughs> Please, Rob Christian, uh, also do small videos because mm -hmm. we don't ha have always the time to watch a long live show. So mm -hmm. I try to be very efficient with my precious time, my friend. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, just God bless your family and everything. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Thank RC. You, my uh, RC, yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank Take you. care. Goodbye, my friend. Bye -bye. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Mm. Bye bye. Al Rab Maak, Habibi. Bye bye. Yeah, what I said in the Arabic, Al Rab Maak, do you hear it? May the Lord be with you. Al Rab Maak, right? So I rather, when I pray to my Lord, you know, I rather use the word Ya Rabbi. Al Rabb, the Lord, right? Ya Rabbi, my Lord. Well, thank you for that call, guys. Yeah, our brother here is one of the our supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much, Debit. Debit Rai. He's a admin too now. Thank you for the call. Let us see if we can take other calls. Let me go back to Skype. Let's see if we... Bruno, are you there, my friend? I missed a call, I think. Let me call Bruno. Hey, hello, brother. Hey, brother from another mother. How are you, my friend? How are you doing, my friend? I'm fine. And I'm you? good, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Just a second, someone, uh, the one who is trying to call, we are in the middle call, you have to wait, I will call you. Just send me a message and I will call you, okay? Sorry, my friend. Go ahead, Bruno. How are you, my friend? No problem. I'm fine. I'm fine. I have two questions, brother. The first yes. one is, uh, it's a month ago since I have, maybe it sounds like crazy, but I can't feel, I can't think uh, nothing, but I have only God in my head and to, I don't know, that sounds crazy, but I have that, uh, like, it's like a voice to learn the scriptures and to, 
uh, tell some people the truth. Well, because my friend, Jesus, Jesus is calling you home, my friend. He call, he's calling you home. So you have to listen to his call. You know, Jesus said, everyone who is calling for me, I will be there. So it seems that your heart is seeking. So answer the call, my friend, and read the gospel, read the Bible. No, no, this, sure, this, you know, this was my question. I read yeah. the, the Bible and especially the gospel two times. And now it's my third time that I, I want to study the Bible. Ah, I, okay, I see. Yeah. And my question is, uh, what what books you can give me to uh, other the Bible to learn about the faith? Because a lot of Christians are here in Austria are misleading the world and taking them for their for their for their property. Or how can I say for them? Yeah. Well, I the thing know. is, the thing is, as you know, I'm my language is not really the english language right arabic is aramaic is so actually i don't really read uh english books what i read is you know what you see on the screen what, my own research but you know uh to be honest with you i can't i can't help you with this question because i myself don't read uh english literature about the bible so okay. i rather go to the arabic but i know there are many amazing uh people who wrote books uh, William Lane, Mike William Brown. Lane Craig, I think William Lane Craig, amazing uh, Christian apologist. There are there are many many uh, brothers. Maybe the people in the live chat can give a couple of names. Uh, people who are listening. Can you give us a couple of examples for this brother that we can share with him? Anyone in the chat? Let's see if we can get a. Answer. Yeah, I, I can read about it uh, later in the chat. And my second yeah. question was. Uh, I have learned so about. Someone is saying George Miller. There's a book from George Miller. So just replay the chat and you will see a lot of names. C.S. Lewis. Yeah, that's another good one. I heard of this name. C.S. Lewis. Another George great. Miller. William Link Craig. Here, you already got three names, my friend. Lewis. Okay, I've written it down. And the second question I was having is I heard about mm -hmm. the uh, biography of Muhammad. And yes. I and I heard that this biography is written of uh, some of, of a Muslim. They don't trust it. They yeah. say that many that he... yeah, exactly. Many Muslims, but you know, uh, they have to because that's basically the the most earliest uh, source to go to. That's the Sira. We call it in the Arabic the Sira and Nabawiya by Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Is uh, Ibn Ishaq, yeah. Ibn Hisham. Oh, yeah. right? Yeah, this uh, actually, is actually, we don't have the original anymore because the original was written by Ibn Ishaq. And, you know, the student of his student, Ibn Isha, the student of the student, rewrite it again. So he changed a lot and they lie, you know. Yeah, but uh, he copied, uh, like, like I read yeah. this, he copied almost one to one uh, from the gospel and the life of jesus about the star of like there is a yeah, star he copied, yeah he copied it a lot exactly because his he comes from a christian family ibn ishaq right the original writer of the Sira yes. and Nabawiya, yeah right? this uh, the, the biography of the prophethood of muhammad Sira Nabawiya is written by Ibn Ishaq. Ibn Ishaq comes from a Christian background. So he used a lot of Christian sources to fabricate a lot about Muhammad. Yeah, so, this is this is true. And uh, like I would say, Caesar, Jesus said, I would send you after me this Ahmad. This is about the Holy Spirit. Am I right? Yes, yes. Of yes, course. And, uh, they say uh, Ahmad is Muhammad, but he he's not is not even Muhammad because Muhammad means the praised one. If I'm right. Yeah. No. Uh, actually, the real name of Muhammad was is not Muhammad. Muhammad is a title. Yeah, I know. I and know. The, the word Muhammad, guys in the chat. I hope you are listening and take notes. The name of Muhammad is not his real name. His real name is Qathim, Ibn Kilab. Right. That's his real name, Qathim. Yes. Muhammad means, let me ch type it also in the chat, it means the praised. praised, praised one. Now when we ask Muslims, when we ask Muslims, when you say praised, what's the word praised? It's hamd. When we go to the Quran, and let me show it also on the screen for the people who are watching. When we go to the Quran, oh, I lost the brother. Are no, you, I'm here, you, I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. If, if we go to the Quran, watch. 
I'm getting some echo on my friend. Uh, try to fix it, okay? It says in chapter 1, ayah 2, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So all praise, <laughs> all praise is to Allah. How suddenly Muhammad became the praised one? If Allah himself is receive, must receive all the praise, do you see the problem? Do you oh see the God. shirk? Do you see when Muhammad took the name Muhammad? Because what, like I said, his real name is Qatham. When he used Muhammad, he used a divine title. And it's the title it, yes, only yes, to yes. Allah. All Hamd. Do you hear it? Muhammad Hamd. It's the same word, right? It's the same coming oh from the God. same root. Hamd. 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 Muhammad. Hamd. Muhammad. Praise. All praises oh to Allah. God. So here when Muhammad took the name Muhammad, he made himself equal with Allah. And that's Shirk 101. <laughs> crazy, crazy. So yeah, brother, this was, my, this, this was my two questions. And you said this can be this strong force in my hand. This could, this, uh, could be a call and this should be, is, is, could be a calling from God because this is how I feel it, brother. Well, that's, you know, our God and people who are in the live chat who are listening, our God is a holy living God. Yeah, you know, I love that. He's not, like, he's not like a stone moon idol like Allah who is silent, who is far, far away, who, who has no connection with the world. No, our God, because he loved us so much, he even came to the world through Jesus Christ, through his eternal Son, eternal word, Jesus Christ, to walk among us, to talk to us, to understand yeah. us. But yeah, Allah, Allah is far, far away. Guys, don't yeah. call me when I'm when I'm in the middle of a call. Guys, please. I'm finished in one minute, yeah. brother. And the, the crazy thing is, this is happened about a month ago. And yeah. I was a long time smoker of marijuana and I was really addicted to it. And yeah. from from one day to another, it's yeah. like I have never, never touched this marijuana. And no. every time, every time I think even to, I feel really the fight in my head between God and Satan when he tried to tempt me. And every, every time when I think of uh, this sin, I get uh, such a strong mm. feeling in my head and such a little... Uh, I'm little, a little bit scared at this moment, yeah. and this is I don't know, brother. It's just it's just crazy. I feel you him see, in now, my heart. Now you're you now you're a changed man, right, my friend? Because yeah, of, brother, it's changed me a lot. My see, parents, see? Yeah. my parents never seen me like this before. And mm. well, my friend, I'm, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you, brother. And thank and, you. and and don't lose the faith. Always no, keep your no. faith in our Holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm sure he will always provide when you need him. Thank right? you, brother. Thank Th you. And thank, thank you, you so much. Calling. Thank you so much for your teaching, brother. I hope you guys in the chat are listening, learning, and not just to show off and chatting because Rob is doing an amazing job. Thank, thank you, brother you. Rob, Appreciate and it, God bro. bless you. God bless you too. Thank you for calling. Ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's see if we can other people... Uh, Rory, I will call you. Rory, please, my friend, don't call me when I'm in a call. I will call you back. But there are many people who call me. I, if you see my call list, bro, you'll get crazy. So let me be fair and call the one who called me first. Okay, let me call our dear sister Hafsa back. Hafsa, I'm calling you. Rory, I'll call you, okay, bro? Just we're trying to be fair to our other callers. Hello? Uh, okay. Hello, Hafsa. Welcome. Hello? Hello? This is your ultimate daddy here. Yeah, you call him the... Uh, ultimate, ultimate donkey, yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Let me call Rory back. Rory, I'm calling you, my friend. Our life on air. Hello, welcome. How you doing? Hey, my friend. I'm good. You you have a lot of background uh, noise. Can, 
Do you have hey, that is my computer. It's really bad. Oh, uh, okay. Well. Try to uh, come closer to the mic, my friend, and uh, what do you want to uh, say to us? Your life on air, I, go ahead. I, I would say um, you're doing a great job and... Um, Thank you, my friend. And uh, I'm going to get an iPad soon so I can do my projects. All right. Do you want to do, do some projects with me? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, have, you have a YouTube channel, right, Rory? Yes. Uh, you sent me a link. I watched it. Uh, guys, make sure to uh, subscribe and help this brother out, our brother Rory. Uh, You're a Christian, right? Yeah. Go ahead, my friend. Call me a brother, can you? Go ahead. I'm saying you can't call me a brother, can you? Why I? Why, of course, you are my brother in Christ, right? You're a Christian. No, no, right? no I'm not a Christian. I did you're say You're not that. a Christian. Oh, I thought you were a Christian. No, sorry. I did say that before, didn't I? I'm not a Christian. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, go ahead. What? What do you want to share with us? What do you I want to share? With? I want to share um, the verses that I'll, you know David Wood made a challenge, right? Yeah. To Muslim to make him convert to Islam, right? Is yes. That right? Yes. Um. Look at Surah 15, verse 91. 15? 15, verse 91. Okay. Verse 91. And then go back earlier. 15, yeah. verse 9. Don't they contradict each other? 9 or 91? Which one? Now, 15. Yeah. Chapter 15, verse 91. 91, okay. Yeah, go ahead. 15, verse 9. Don't they contradict each other? Uh, let's see, 9 and 91, let's see. Indeed we have sent down the Quran and indeed we ourselves surely are its guardians. So Allah is saying he's the one who is going to... Uh, it, it doesn't actually say the Quran, it says a dhikr and they translate it as a Quran. I'll give any Muslim a thousand dollar if he can show me the word Quran in the Arabic. It's not there, this is false translation. So they say yeah. this is the Quran. You know, let it go, Christians. Let it go. So Allah is saying he's going. Yeah. We're doing this for the sake of argument. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go it. to fifteen ninety one. Okay. Do you see the contradiction there? Those who broke the word of Allah into several parts. Yes. Those who broke the Torah, the Bible, or changed it. <laughs> and you see false translation. Let me tra change the translation again. Let's see what it says. Yeah. And yeah, basically Allah is saying. He will guard his dhikr, and Muslims say this is the Quran. But then it says in 1591, those who make the Quran into shreds. Let's let me get a better translation. Let's see what it says. Do you see it? Who have broken the Quran into fragments? So how Allah is saying in 15 ayah 9 that He's going to protect His so-called dhikr that they say this is Quran, but here they say. The Quran itself says and confirms that some people have broken the Quran into fragments. Yeah, of course. Um, I've, I've got a question. Yeah. Um, I wanted to bring this up to David Wood, mm -hmm. but he, I, I think I'm going to sound a little bit like I, I'm putting the guy down, but I think he only looks at live, uh, what do you call it, um, Super chance. I, I was wondering if anyone could ask this question to you for him for me. Yeah Yeah, well he, as you see of course this is a contradiction because This is actually very smart of you. You've done some research on, on uh, about it as we showed you chapter 15 ayah 9, right? It clearly says Allah will guard he will be the guardian Right of the dhikr when we ask Muslims. What's the dhikr? They say they claim that that's the Quran but in 91, it clearly says those who shred the Quran, right? So how, how is it possible that Allah is saying that he will protect the Quran, but on the other hand, it says that the Quran will be made into shreds, right? So you're correct on it. What it's does uh, the, mean in Arabic? If is it an Arabic word? Because I know there's foreign words in the yeah, Quran. Yeah, dhikr, dhikr, right? actually dhikr, you know, uh, it, it's, it's uh, basically in, in other meaning, it's a remembrance, right? To remember something that you want to remember or memorize. That's what we can Is it an Arabic the, word though? Yeah, it's an Arabic word, yes. Alright, because you know, you know, the, you know for a fact that the Quran has, um, 
foreign words in it that's not Arabic. <laughs> of course, like the Injil, right? The, the word Injil is not an Arabic word. It's a it Greek word. Else. It's an Evangelion. Yeah, it's a Greek word. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I can only call you like in, because in, I'm in the UK and it's about um, we're having a beautiful day in the UK. Did you know that? And but because of this lockdown, uh, we well, I'm not. I'm myself not from the UK, so I have no idea, my friend. Could be. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. Um, we're having a beautiful yeah. day in the UK and. Um, it's, uh, and we, we can't go out because of this lockdown. I'm sure everyone is aware of this lockdown. Yeah, see, see, my friend, do you see the screen? Can you see the yeah. screen? Okay, yeah. I copied the word, a dhikr. Do you see it? A dhikr. Yeah. And it means the remembrance, so I was not wrong. Do you see? Yeah. Seems that Arab, my Arabic is not that bad after all. I am Muslims. Yeah. A remembrance, right? A dhikr. Actually, most Muslims around the world do not know Arabic, and this is what yeah, I... Yeah, but they say, Rob, Christian, it doesn't say that, RC, right? I know, I know. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to say this. Yeah. Um, most Muslims, please, please, please come out, because you're not an Arab, and... Exactly. And, Arab, uh, and Islam is an Arab... Yeah. Rory, religion. Rory, I'm I have sorry. a question for you. What's your background? You, you, do you, were you a Muslim before, or what's your background? Yes, I was. Oh, you were. Okay. I left because of well, Muhammad I'm happy. I am. I'm, I'm really happy for you that you left Islam, my friend. But what about accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior? What's holding you back? I'm not sure that yet. I'm not sure about that yet. But do you? Are you? Are you welcoming to maybe? Pray with me right now to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We can pray together right here, right now, if you want. Um, Do you want that? Um, I'll have to think about that. If that's okay with you, Rob. No Sorry problem, about that. No problem. Um, call me. Call me when you're ready, and we can pray together live on air, and uh, so you can accept Jesus Christ. Like you know, I say there was another brother uh, uh, who left Islam, and I shared a video uh, like at least one week ago with you guys and he left Islam during my call he left Islam and you know I told him you know read the Bible read the gospel Rome wasn't built in one day right so take your time but when you are seeking Jesus is there and he will come for you if you are truly asking him to answer your call so my friend Jesus came to serve. He came to serve everybody, including the Muslims, ex-Muslims, everyone who is in need, everyone who is searching, Jesus will be there. So my friend, can you ask, um, take your time. iPhone 3G, that, um, is it yeah. my, um, this channel that I'm calling you, I'm sorry, is it my um, um, 1988 channel or is it my Number two I have I have no idea, my friend. I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna go now. Yeah. And uh, okay, Rory, Rory uh, my friend, read the gospel, and I really hope I will I will ask our audience also to keep you in their prayers and please think about it. Read the gospel, and maybe you will be open for the truth, and you can accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Um, am I am I allowed to like? Um take this part of the video portion of sure the sure it's yours my friend but uh please you when you want to share when yeah. you want to share our videos just make too sure to put our uh, youtube link in your description box uh, and in the comment section oh, right but by don't the way, I'm, I'm going to get an it's... ipad soon. okay my friend thank you for calling and uh hopefully hopefully you will find what you're seeking for my friend thank you for thanks, calling thanks thank thanks you for... rory thank you my friend thanks God for bless. having me on no problem. I appreciate it. Welcome. All right. Let's see if we can. Let we see if we can take other calls. Uh, okay. Welcome, Huna. You're live on air. Mute, mute you, YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Welcome, Huna. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, mute, mute YouTube, please. I'm healing yeah. myself double. Mute, mute. One second, please. Hello, hello, yes, hello. sure. Yeah, mute, mute you, please. please. I'm healing yeah. myself. Is dead. Okay, yeah. I, I've done. Uh, yes, hello. Sir. Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Um, 
My name is Livio. That's the nickname. Okay. I apologize for my very bad English. No, no, I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. I am a Christian guy. I live in UK in in a city which is which has a very high population of Muslims. Yes. I myself am a Christian. Okay. But I have a question that yes. has to do with Islam. Because yes. you you are an Arabic speaker. Yes. Could you like to tell me why Muslims are so are trying so much to tell us that the Gospel of John chapter 8, the story of the woman that has been found committing adultery, it's false. It has to do something with the story of their so-called prophet and the woman that he sent to death for the same sin. My friend, my friend, any Muslim, any Muslim who says that the Bible is corrupted or the Torah or the Gospel is corrupted, don't make it too hard on yourself. Please, I always say to our friends, Whenever a Muslim wants to talk about the Bible, first you need to ask him, do you think this ayah or this verse is corrupted? If he's going to say yes, then ask him, can you show me from the Quran, any, anywhere from the Quran no, where it says no, that the Torah I, yes, and the Gospel good. are corrupted. So this point is good, but I will, ask them, don't waste your I will time. ask them something even, uh, even better. Now, yeah. since you claim that our books are corrupted, Yes. How is that you can find something good in yeah. books that you claim to, to be corrupt? Yeah, they, which, you is know, your, which is your prophet. Yeah, you know what Muslims do, my friend? I have 15 years of experience with Muslims. I've debated. I, I, I really lost count how many Muslims I have debated in, my, in the last 15 years. Uh, you know, most Muslims that we debate, they actually have like a brick wall built around them. It's basically an Islamic brick wall. To penetrate that wall, you have to destroy the Quran, destroy Muhammad. Don't waste your time with a non-sincere Muslim who is trying, right, his best to deceive you. Don't waste your time to immediately go to the gospel or the Torah. No, you see, go always um, to the Quran, go to the Hadith. When they try to say that the gospel is corrupted, ask them, can you show me from the Quran one ayah where it says that the gospel is corrupted? Well, uh, now, before yeah. I came in the United Kingdom, yes. I love history. So with a Romanian background, mm -hmm. I know how much my own land has been persecuted by the Muslim Ottoman Empire. I, I know, my friend. I so know. we paid about 400 years Jizya. I know. And you know better than me where Jizya is originated yeah, yeah. from. I, we have the same problem. I'm from the Middle East. We suffered. So, too. yeah. But... When you live in a city like I live, yeah. because I don't hide myself, I'm not afraid, I'm only afraid by the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen, amen. I yeah. live in Leicester, United Kingdom, and in don't, this don't city... Don't share too much information, my friend. No, don't never, worry, don't okay. worry, don't okay. worry. Yeah. In this city, whether I like it or not, I go across, I come across them. Mm -hmm. Because having a huge Muslim community. By the way, I love Muslims. Yeah. I don't like Islam. So they're human beings just exactly. like me. I'm not any exactly. better than That's, them. What you just said is really, really good because no one is good except God, right? So we all, we all, we all have our sins. We don't hate Muslims, but we hate Islam. That's the difference. When Muslims call us haters, ask them, because what do I you don't mean want by to, hate? To rub right? your, your, uh, your time. No, waste your time. Go Let ahead. us go back to the... Now, I noticed even so-called Christian scholars, I saw them on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, as they've been interviewed by Muslims, yeah. telling that John chapter 8, uh, mm -hmm. it's an in invented story. Yeah. Well, if I, I, I went to, to read that hadith that speaks about the pregnant woman that went in, in front of uh, the so-called prophet of Islam. Mm -hmm. And you know the story better than I do. Yeah. My friend, when I, they say that, when I say that to you, just say, are you saying that Allah uh, forget to keep his promise? Because Allah said he is going to protect his words. So when Muslims say uh, one of the... And you know, any story in the Bible is false. So tell them, are you saying that Allah is a liar and Muhammad is a fake prophet? 
Just say that because Allah, right, confirmed the gospel. Yeah. And he even said, you have to, he said to the Christians, chapter, in chapter 5, you can read that so, he's commanding the Christians, you have to judge by the gospel and what is inside the gospel. How can we judge by the gospel if Muslims claim that Allah is a liar, right? Uh, and saying that the gospel is corrupted. How can we just buy the, gos buy the gospel if the gospel of Allah is corrupted? Well, Do you uh, see the problem? Can I call you Rob? Yes, sure. My name is Levi. Nice to meet you. No. Nice to meet you. When, uh, let me just grab one King James from here because I have many books. Now, here is the problem. As I said before, I love Muslims. I love all mankind. Amen. We as Christians, we are not any better than no one else. If we will be saved... Yes, exactly. We will be saved by grace through faith. Exactly. So, but Islam, I have a very strong argument to call this cult Antichrist. And I will give you the reference. So, I don't know the Quran. It would be an offense to me to have that book in my, in my house. Neither do I have it. I have it only online, as you see. So, <laughs> uh, I go to the first book of John, chapter 2. Okay. John, first, first John, chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 21, 22. Mm -hmm. It simply says this. Now, I will read New King James Version. So, it says so. Who is, uh, 22, who is the liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ, he is the Antichrist. Yes. Who denies the father and the son. Now, the offense named Quran. Yeah. What does in the second chapter denies that uh, the living God of Israel has yes. a son. Yes. And by doing so, it transforms itself in an antichrist. Amen, my friend. Guys, did you hear what this gentleman said? In 1 John chapter 2, verse 20, 22. 22, 22, 23. It clearly says... Who is the liar, right? Who is the liar? Now, it I'll is whoever follow. denies that Jesus is the Christ. I'll Not follow. only that, yeah, let, let me finish this part, my yeah. friend, so people who are listening. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying, guys, watch carefully, denying the Father and the Son. Since Muhammad denied that Jesus is the Son of God, and God is Father, right? And this Father has Son called Jesus, Muhammad is the Antichrist. Now Bam. it follows 23. Whosoever denies the Son yes. does not have the Father either. Wow. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Wow. So Muhammad is, is the Antichrist, right? That's what we can conclude. Not every, every cult, every yeah. cult that denies the Lord Jesus Christ becomes Amen. automatically an Antichrist. Amen. Guys, he just, just he, uh, this gentleman who, who just said, you heard him correct, uh, carefully, he said, I don't know the Quran, but he knows his Bible, and he clearly showed to everybody who is listening that Muhammad is one of the agents of Satan. He is one of the Antichrist. Amen. So, uh, last but not least, because I need to go to work. No problem. I, I know, I've, I read the Hadith. <laughs> yeah. I will, I will. I used to be the most <laughs> wicked, wicked human being, being, so I have, I, Bro, I we went were to... All, we are all wicked, but because God so, loves us, right? There is a hadith. I found the hadith. I don't remember uh, that hadith to quote it. Yeah. Where they so-called prophet said that he sees the angel Gabriel yeah. uh, sitting on kind of chair on heaven. Now, if I compare that view of the so-called prophet with yeah. Isaiah chapter, 14 yeah. once again it simply show me that this are you talking angel, about the hadith that is talking that jibril is sitting on the throne yes okay yes. okay now we, we go to the book of isaiah chapter 14 mm -hmm. and i will uh, i will quote i will finish with this because many yes. people will wait yeah now it says i will start from verse 12 yeah let me put the, let me, let, from my heaven, friend, Odu. just a second, just a second. Yeah. So people can follow us. It's sometimes hard for the people to oh. uh, to follow what, no. we, what we say. This is the hadith I that this gentleman is talking about. Let me go to that part where it says, okay, you know, it, it's a long hadith, but you can see that Jibril is sitting on the throne, right? Do you see it, guys? 
So, okay, go ahead. And... Okay, I will. I will repeat. Yeah. Book okay. of Isaiah, chapter mm -hmm. fourteen, from verse thirteen. Okay. Or for twelve to read in context because we are not thieves. Yeah. How you are for, for fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of mor of, of the morning. Yeah. How you are cut down to the ground. Mm. You who wicked wickened the nations. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. Yes. I will exalt my my throne above the stars of God. Mm -hmm. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, mm -hmm. on the far side of the north. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the height of the clouds, and I will be like the Almighty, like the Most High. This version. Exactly. So, exactly. What took place in that man's mind? Mm -hmm. That's not an angel. I'm so sorry for my beloved Muslims. Yeah. It's a fallen angel, right? Yes, it's a it's a high it's a demon. raking and high it, raking it seems, fallen angel. So basically you are trying to show the, the our audience that the one who is, you know, trying to act like God a right? simple comparison. Exactly. Do you see it guys? Great, great job, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the Quran, so yeah. I I Bro, I know it seems that you know it seems that you know enough. <laughs> good job, good job. Uh, I came they came across me when I first came yeah. here because uh, there are many here and yeah. uh, people have the right to live whenever they can, wherever mm -hmm. they can. Yes. So people have the right to approach with questions, especially people that go around to evangelize. Yes. Muslims have the right to approach with questions and they challenge me because of my my heritage, my Romanian heritage, knowing our history, the history of the Balkans. Uh, well, they dominate through the sword, yeah. the Ottoman Empire. Uh, yeah. About six centuries, we were forced to pay Jizya, and we, you know where the Jizya is coming from. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. So disgusting mafia cult. Uh... Yes, exactly. Like in yeah. South Italy, protection money, like mafia. Yeah. Muhammad is mafia. He's so the now, he's the cult cult leader of the mafia. Um, yeah. Protection money of the mafia. Exactly. When uh, when uh, when Muhammad hijab yeah. caught the Bible in a debate with Doctor David Wood in uh, in USA, mm -hmm. he caught he caught uh, a verse from Malachi chapter three verse six. For I am the Lord; I do not change. Well. Yeah. Their so-called Lord changed because the Lord, our Lord, kept the Shabbat, the Sabbath, yeah. the Saturday, yeah. and or gave us the commandment to keep the Sabbath. Yeah. Our Lord chose um, Isaac, not Ishmael. Obviously, the exactly. Lord he called from Malachi three. Yeah, the lawful, it's not, the lawful son is Isaac, not you know. That yes, God so made a it's covenant not the with. same God. I'm so yeah. sorry for the Muslims. Of course not. Of course not. And, we, and you just showed from the from uh, the book of uh, you know from First John, you clearly showed that our God is Father, and and our Father has the Son Jesus and Christ. And if you if you give me if you give me this uh, this opportunity, yes, I will challenge the Muslim. I will ask them whether everything except God. It's a created thing, and there is only one answer, yes. So, if everything is a created thing, why they face a created thing, which is the black stone in Saudi Arabia, to, to worship? That's idolatry. Yeah, kiss, kiss, yeah. And not only that, you know, before Islam, you know, the women of Arabia, right? The, the Meccan women, they used to put the menstrual blood, menstruation blood, on the stone for fertility reasons right to if you if you want to have a kid they used to you know disgusting i know guys people who maybe maybe you just ate or something that stone has so much bacteria on it from the last 1400 years it, instead of you know wow. <laughs> healing your sin it, wow. it will make you sick if you're going to kiss it no but not no now since they claim always very loud that it's yeah. only one god yeah. so why do they need a place on earth, yeah. which My is friend, not a only, created yeah, thing. It's not only the worship. stone, the Quran itself, according to majority of Islam, the Quran itself is uncreated. So you have 
Allah, you have the Quran who are equally eternal. If, if the Quran is uncreated, that means it's eternal together with Allah. So we have Allah and we have the Quran. Bam. No, 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 there is a partnership uh, in their Shahada. Now, a Jew, an ultra-Orthodox Jew can go in front of every Muslim telling them, I believe in, in the only one God. I keep the 613 laws. Mm. I have the mosaic law, therefore I don't need your God. Yet the Muslims will call them, will call him Kufar mm -hmm. because he doesn't believe in the second part of the Shahada, the exactly. partner of Allah. The partner, yeah, the, yeah, the one yes, that Muhammad himself shahad, associated yes, because himself. Because Shahada yeah. has two parts. Yeah, there is not only, only one that, bro, God. Uh, many, many ashamed Muslims, right? Many ashamed Muslims who become Quran only Muslims, they reject the hadith because no, they know how damaging the hadith is against the Prophet of Islam. They drop the hadith and they be become Quran only Muslims. And not only that, they say that the Shahada, they claim that the Shahada is shirk. Can you imagine? The Shahada is shirk according to them. Okay, what? thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Uh, it is exactly. a great privilege to speak with you. Thank you, my friend. Thank Honor you for so your much. time. Thank you too. Please Don't... pray for me. I do need prayers like every one sure. of us. Guys, I would pray for friend, you. Keep this friend of ours in your prayers. Keep us in, and the admins in your prayers, guys. Thank you for calling and make sure to always call us back. Thank you. You too. Bye. Thank you for calling. God bless. God bless. Wow, that was amazing, guys. You see, this gentleman, this humble gentleman said, I don't know the Quran, but he was destroying the Quran left and right. He was destroying Muhammad and proved, proved to everybody who is watching and listening that Muhammad is nothing but an antichrist. Wow! Muslims, you really need to wake up. The, the proof is in front of you. Anyone that denies that Jesus is the Son of God and God is our Heavenly Father, you are an antichrist. You are an agent of Satan. God bless you, Kola. Thank you. Guys, I think it's not bad to grab a drink because I'm, I need something to drink. Small coffee break, guys. A small intermission, okay? Be right back. All right, guys. All right. You know, this is a blessed day, to be honest with you. It's an honor to receive so many calls. Uh, <laughs> we are, you know, the moment we started and the calls kept coming in, that's, that's amazing, guys. Didn't I say to you, without you guys, we cannot do this? Because of your support, because of our viewers, our subscribers and donators on Patreon, we can do this. Thank you so much. It's, the honor is all mine. Guys, I'm here to serve. Yes, and I always claim it. You guys, you don't need me. I'm replaceable. But, 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 if God want to use me, if the Holy Spirit want to use me to teach and destroy this cult, so be it. Let us see, guys, if we can take more calls. Let's see. Uh, we have our friend, Collegians. Let me call this gentleman back. You're live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Please mute YouTube. Hello? Indeed. Can you hear me? Yes. Good, perfect. Um, just like uh, the other caller, I don't know what the chances are. I'm Romanian. I also live in UK. Okay. Just, Welcome, my uh, friend. You're live on air. Your sound is perfect. Go ahead. Uh, it's just that uh, I know more about Islam than he does. Uh, mm -hmm. because I've been longer in UK maybe okay. the thing is I wanted to ask normally the yeah. Quran which it's called recitation yeah yes 
Uh, shouldn't be entire Allah's words in it. Sorry, can you can, can you go my head because so, because you don't understand what I wanted to say. For example, uh, repeat second, repeat what you said, please. Uh, shouldn't be in the Quran every revelation that Allah gave to Muhammad. Yeah. Because, for example, the second comment of Christ, mm -hmm. they say it's hinted at in the Hadith. And yes. since it is a revelation, why is it not in the Quran? That's a good question, my friend. And that's not the only revelation which is in yes. the Hadith. Yes. Mahdi, also the Mahdi, right? Who is the Mahdi? They uh, have to assume, right? For example, yeah, who is the Mahdi? For us is the Antichrist, we all know yeah. that. Yeah, of course, of course. But uh, the other thing is, yes. uh, if you want, <clears throat> you see in Revelation chapter 13, where it's speaking about the false prophet yes. and the beast, which Muslim doesn't understand the, the mm -hmm. chapter 13, not many Christians do. Which verse, my friend, do you want to, uh, to show me on the screen? If you want to put it on the screen, I'll look for you. I know it's chapter 13 towards the end, where is the beast and the false prophet. Uh, just a second. No problem, take your time. 16, 17, 18, which one? It's 13 chapter for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I have on the screen, but which verse do you want me to show on the screen? The one with the false prophet. Let's see. <clears throat> mm. okay. ba, ba, ba. It's towards the end of the chapter. Yeah. I have chapter 13 before me. Let's see which verse that is talking about. Uh, the second beast, uh, the first beast, uh, ba, ba, ba. Uh, I'm on verse 12, beast against talking, still talking about the beast. Yeah, there is, Me, mm, okay. the beast gave its power and authority to the false prophet. Yeah. Uh, well, the whole, the whole, the whole, basically, the whole chapter is talking about the beast. I'm trying to find the. Is is there something called the prophet? It's talking about a prophet here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, just a second. I don't immediately see it, but. And the, the beast gave the power to the false prophet for uh, let's see. Um, it to make signs. Um, I'll find it in a second. I think it's 13. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's, it is also in 19, verse 1 and 2. 19, chapter 19. Yeah, 1 and 2. Okay. Okay. Uh, let let me read. Let me read it. Uh, After this, I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven, shouting, "Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God." Okay. Next verse. For true and just are His judgment. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of His servants. No. Do you want me to continue? Uh, no, no, no. Because I'll find okay. it. Okay. It's it's strange because um, I know it from the top of my head. Like okay, I know it's not it should have been yeah. thirteen. Sorry, I know uh, it should have been thirteen. Okay. Mm. Uh oh. Uh. Maybe maybe you're talking about Revelation 20. Let's see. Maybe 20. It says that uh, the the dragon gave the power to the false prophet to perform great signs. Yeah, I think. Uh, and the devil. If we go to verse 20, sorry, chapter 20, verse 10 of Re the book of Revelation, it says, "And the devil who deceived them." 
was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They well, will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Is that the one you're talking about? Well, yes, he, uh, the false prophet, it's mentioned uh, earlier yeah. anyway. Yeah. But the point is, uh, I wanted to challenge also Muslim and it's good for Christians as well. Mm -hmm. Every prophet left mm -hmm. behind a book. Zachariah, mm -hmm. Isaiah, you name it. Mm -hmm. False prophets should leave a book as well. Do they know which one might be by any chance? I know. Go ahead, my friend. Of course, it's it's the Quran because it's yeah. false prophet. I mean, you know. Yeah, of course. And we, we showed uh, before you called. We showed on the screen, right? Anyone who denies that Jesus is the Son of the Father and God is Father, he is he is an antichrist. So Muhammad denying that, right? is automatically yeah. an antichrist, is an agent of Satan, exactly. I don't want to keep you too long because I saw you no have problem. many calls, I'm always watching you live. Thank you, my friend. The other thing is, uh, the, if you see nowadays, they, uh, the Dawah team made a challenge to the Christian with the crucifixion historically and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was wondering to the brother uh, Christian to know, and also to the Muslim. The crucifixion, it's also in the Quran, it's just they think they crucified Isa, which was crucified. Yes. So why should we prove a crucifixion when they've got one? You know? Yeah, exactly. Which it's uh, kind of strange, plus not to mention, they think, I found in Talmud, I have the reference if you like it, mm -hmm. um, they think it's Isa in the Talmud because the Jews said it was Is Esau the older bro brother of Jacob, the son of Isaac, because they think was evil due to the prophecy in Genesis 25, I think, 24 or 25, when it's uh, prophesied that in uh, Rahela's womb would be two seeds fighting. Yeah. So in the Talmud, they think um, uh, was the soul of Esau yeah, the Esau, the, the accursed Esau. And, exactly. uh, you know, because the Jews were making fun in Medina, right? Exactly. The Jews in Medina were making fun of, of Jesus, calling him Esau. Muhammad, always listening, he yes. thought he, co he confused exactly. That's why Jesus, he confused. right? Yep, his exactly. mother with him. Guys, are you hearing what this gentleman just said? The Jews of Medina used to mock Jesus and they used to call him Esau, the accursed brother of Jacob. Now Muhammad must have heard it and thought that that Esau is the Jesus of Christianity, right? That the Jews used to mock. So he thought that that's Jesus, right? Because we Arabic speaking Christians, we call him Yesu al-Masih. There's nothing called Isa. So Muhammad confused Esau, the brother of Jacob, with Jesus. So by calling Jesus, the real Jesus, Isa, he is insulting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's an insult to call him Isa. Exactly, my friend. Go ahead. So the other thing is, uh, I uh, work uh, in Amazon for what it matters. Just it's another. Don't job. don't share. Don't share, my friend. It doesn't matter. Any... No, no, it does. You uh, never know, right? Was I came thing? across. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you two yeah. very quick stories. Uh, mm -hmm. A counter with Muslims. Yeah. One of them. He keep telling me about Jesus and Jesus and Jesus. And to be honest, at work, I prayed, like, what to tell to this guy? And I went up to him and I saw, listen, isn't in the Quran. I knew, of course, it is, but I keep asking him to make sure he knows. Then I said, didn't Jesus made a sparrow living out of mud, clay? Mm -hmm. He said, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I asked him, aren't you afraid that if yeah. Jesus, if he can give life, he can also take it away. Exactly. He was like stunned. Yeah. Stunned. And the other one, um, the same came to me. Oh, you are a Christian. I said, yeah. He was like, uh, do you know we worship the same God? I said, <laughs> who That's told funny. you that? Yeah. Who told you that? <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah. I said, no, 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 no. He said, why do you say that? Yeah. And I told him, here is the main difference. Yeah. Our God gave his life for us so we can live. Your God, you have to die for him to live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just, 
didn't speak to me for the rest of the night. He was yeah. walking next to me. But uh, after that, to be honest, um, yeah. he was in shock and he started asking me questions about Jesus. I hope yeah. he's safe. You know, you are remembering me or reminding me of uh, when Muslims, you know, they quote uh, one of the verses from, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, from the book of John, right, from the Gospel of John where Jesus fell, falls on his face and prayed to the Father. Now, they only learned from their deceptive Imams to quote only the verse part, and they say, look, look, Jesus is praying like us. Oh, you know? yeah, they love the assimilation with the behavior, but they don't want the words. Exactly. So they only they are... quote that first part, and they leave that last part out where Jesus is communicating, praying with the Father in heaven, his Father in heaven. Yeah, it's... We, it's, Christians, uh... yeah, we Christians have no no problem at all because when jesus is in the flesh of course he's he's going to communicate still communicate with the father right by exactly. praying and we in christianity when we pray we actually communicate with our god so we don't have any issue with jesus praying to the father that was his way of communicating but when you muslims when you learned from ahmadidat and other liars like him when you quote a verse, don't misquote it, don't butcher it, because that's not, not what we do when we quote your Quran. We read it as it is. I challenge any Muslim to show me where I leave parts out when I read the Quran. I always show it on the screen. I don't misquote, misquote it. But when Muslims love to talk about the Bible and they say, look, look, Jesus is praying like the Muslims. My friend, when you pray to Allah, here is the one million dollar question. Muslims, I hope you're listening. When you pray to Allah, do you pray to him and call him father in your prayers? Of course not. So no. you pray to a different God. Jesus prays to a different God than your God. And to be honest, I'm just a regular person. I've sent you a leak of hadith if you'd like to open it. Because I think this hadith should destroy Islam itself. There is no need for any is it further. From Sunnah? Is it from Sunnah? Yep. Can it's you Sunnah. mention the first couple words, my friend? Yeah, it's the one in which uh, Muhammad said that uh, he listened to Shaitan because uh, he is teaching him only good words, only good deeds. Uh, okay, go ahead, my friend. Uh, uh, so Abdullah ibn Abbas reported that the Messenger Allah something said, yeah. there is none among you whom it's, uh, it, it doesn't have a touch from amongst the jinn in bracket devil. They, the companion, said, Allah Messenger, would you too? Thereupon he said, yes, but Allah helped me against him, so now I'm safe uh, from his end, and he does me, he does not command me, but good. Now, <laughs> I, want, I want our friend Muslim to tell us by point one, two, three, which are the good deeds that Shaitan tell him to do, and he actually carried it out. Would exactly. That would be interesting. Yeah, and, and Muhammad basically has his own personal Shaitan, right? Oh yeah, yeah it, so <laughs> the hadith said it, and it's yeah. key. It's not daif, you know. Yeah, of course. It's from the I have it from the Sahih Muslim. Yeah. Uh, fifty-two hadith sixty-two. So the trouble is, uh, wherever they go, it's like uh, they have no escape. Actually, mm -hmm. that's the reason they avoid to answer our question, and they can't come. Uh, Honestly, they don't have dignity, to be honest, yeah. to say, this is what we believe, either good or bad, but this is what we want, because it's yeah. a choice. It's not, um, yeah. um, you know, it's not like um, I have to. It is, it's a matter of choice. If they choose to believe in this, fine, but yeah. don't come to tell us, oh, no. When Allah said, like uh, David Wood said with the reinterpretation video, which I think is brilliant, where yeah. it's killed everybody, you know, they go like, no, Islam is peace. <laughs> I mean, Islam is peace? Yes. I challenge any Muslim to show me the peace in Islam, my friend. There isn't any, because also I'm a Romanian and uh, we study a lot of history and um, I know my grounds and plus I've, I went to church yeah. since I'm seven and I can't... Um, I can't wait for them to bring me questions like why did uh, God said kill the Amalekites or why did Jesus said uh, bring them and slay them in front of me because yeah. I have the answer to that I'm almost 40 yeah, and I, my friend Muslims who quote that verse 
Oh, they have no idea that it's that Jesus is telling a story, a parable, right? He's talking yes. about a king. He, Jesus actually did, did not say, right, uh, bring them in, uh, you know, to, to slaughter them in front of him. No, no. Jesus is talking it's about a, a story. It's a parable. Muslims have it's no idea. It's a parable idea. about the end of the world where, where evil people we will pay and they just don't want to pay. That's the problem. That's why mm -hmm. they like it because they are evil. Yeah. And when you tell them they will be punished for the evil they do, they just yeah. reject everything. Yeah. You know, they want to run away from everything. Yeah. Instead of actually uh, saying that Muhammad was not a warlord, a murderer, right? Muslims, by, by going to the Bible, attacking our Holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they, they they try to actually show yeah you know Muhammad was a uh, a murderer Muhammad was a thief you it's, know but look what Jesus is doing the same my friend where does the verse where does the story say that Jesus is the one who is saying bring them in front of me to be slaughtered no but right? it's yeah. enough to read the part of Umar from Jerusalem you can tell how uh, uh, yeah Mark I made a video about it yeah. Yeah, he got it all wrong, probably. Yeah. He was yeah. just deceived. He just didn't understand the Islam in peace. And then they, <laughs> they moved to some defense yeah. war in Egypt. And then they moved to some more defense across the Morocco. And then they went into Spain to have some more defensive wars, you know? It's a yeah, peaceful exactly. thing. You don't, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, yeah. RC <laughs> doesn't say that, RC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, the Pact of Omar, guys, let me... Let me, uh, just gentlemen, you know, you're amazing, my friend. Thank you for this call. Uh, the Pact of Omar, let me show it on the screen. You can find it, actually, uh, in the Tafsir for chapter 9, Ayah 28, as you see here in, on the screen. If you scroll down, guys, let me give the link also to our beloved audience in the chat. Let me give you the link, guys, so you can open it up and follow. If you scroll all the way down, and I made a video, a short video about the Pact of Amma. You can go and watch it later. It's, uh, I think I made it like two, three months ago. I, I can't remember. I have hundreds of videos, right? So this is this part that we scroll down. Gabriel Yaram is, Gabriel, please wait, my friend. I can take two calls at the same time. So <laughs> if we scroll down here, this is this part. This is the Pact of Amma. Here it starts. J Gabriel, my friend, please don't call me when I'm made in a call. I will call you back. Just hold your horses, my friend. Wait till I'm finished. So here, it's, uh, if we uh, go to that part, we can see where Omar made this so-called pact with the Christians. It, you know, the Christians must be humiliated and degraded, and they must feel disgrace. Do you see it? And that's here, this entire highlighted part, is the Pact of Omar, the real Pact of Omar, right? And I gave you the link, guys. It's the last part, very last long part on the screen. You will see that Christians must wear even belts. You remember when the Jews, in the time of Hitler, he forced the Jews to wear the David Yellow Star? Here, you know, the Christians must wear belts around their waist to be recognized, right? Are you there, my friend? Yeah, and if you yeah. allow me, since you brought it up, Hitler yeah. didn't want to kill the Jews. He received yeah. a political um, um, meeting from the yeah. Prime Minister of Iran. Mm -hmm. He wanted to expel the Jews at the beginning, but then in '41, when he received the Prime Minister from Iran, um, um, and actually the Arabs uh, put troops to the Holocaust. That's why nobody talks about the Arab countries during the mm. Second World War. They only speak Europe and Russia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so if uh, <laughs> actually if Hitler is bad and Muhammad is much more bad because Muhammad said the last judgment hour, right? The, the judgment day will not be established till all Jews are killed. And, and even the stones will say, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. So who is worse? Hitler, who killed, let's say, around 6 million Jews, or Muhammad, who commanded the Muslims to kill all the Jews, who is much worse? Yeah, and You, you can, can be the judge of that, right? You can tell he didn't know what's in the Tanakh, because in the Tanakh I can't tell where, but I can Google it. It's the verse where it's God says, who touches Israel touches the apple of his eye. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, um, uh, my advice to Muslims is uh, watch out when you go against Israel because mm-hmm. that's a promise of God towards Israel uh, regardless of what they do because it's its name, it's in stake. It's not what Israel does or doesn't do. Yeah, exactly, my friend, exactly. So you want to share uh, this is something what they else? Understand also yeah. the covenant. The covenant, it's actually God promises yeah. towards the man. It's not uh, men doing something to earn it. God keep its word. That's why it's called covenant. God said, you are yeah. saved. You can rely on God's word at any time. Yeah. It's not, a, this is what they don't understand that with the grace and stuff like yeah. that. My it's friend, I have a question for you since you uh, are talking about the covenant. What, what, what are you going to answer? I know the, the answer, but I, I'm interested in what, in what you would answer Muslims when they say, but Jesus didn't destroy uh, the old laws. He kept the old laws. What, what is your answer going to be? To be honest, uh, many Christians don't know the answer to that. It's because yeah. they can't tell the difference between moral law and yeah. ceremonial law. Exactly. Can you, can you elaborate on it? Maybe the people who are listening can yeah. benefit from Moral it? Moral law, it's yeah. the Ten Commandments, which Jesus, speaking to the Pharisees, even says that uh, our Lord, our Guys, God... Guys, pay attention, my friend, just a second. Guys who are listening, pay attention to what this gentleman is saying. This is really important. When a Muslim tries, right, when he tries his luck out with you in your, in, when you're debating them, when he brings up the topic, Jesus did not destroy the law, Listen carefully to what this gentleman is saying and take notes. This is important. Listen and take notes. Go ahead, my friend. Sorry. The Ten Commandments are actually split in two by Jesus and they all compiled, compiled in love. Love your God with all your soul, with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. They are put on the same uh, level. Yeah. So that's the moral standard which Jesus are, are, is going to judge the Muslim at the end. It's not going to be Muhammad standard. Don't worry about that, friends. Yeah, yeah. And what about the 613 laws? Are we under the 613 Mosaic the other laws? 630 laws mm-hmm. were part of the what it's called ceremonial. So they had to bring a lamb on Easter, for example, or they have to do a certain thing was just all fulfilled in Jesus. He Amen. Guys, did you hear it? Christ. Jesus fulfilled them. This, you heard it. This is why the apostle later said, let no one condemn you to what you eat or what you drink. Everything you do, Amen. you do it for the Lord. Amen. So we are not bound by the ceremonial law. We are bound, st- I think, still by the Ten Commandments. No, you're correct, my friend. We but, have to follow the Ten Commandments, but we are not under the 613 Mosaic Law. Exactly, because Jesus himself said, I did not come to abolish the law, exactly. I came to fulfill it. So Those, Jesus fulfilled. This is why we are not under the old Mosaic if Covenant. If you allow right? me to take two more minutes of your precious time, sure, I'll, go I'll ahead, share go something ahead, friend, with you. For example, in Egypt, when Lord said uh, to take the... Um, blood of the lamb yes. and put it on the doorpost mm-hmm. it was actually the letter T a cross yes and then one of the ritual of the te- at the temple when they brought the uh, lamb for uh, sacrifice for the remission of sin they have a ritual where they took a little blood on the finger and make a cross on their ears so the ears would be um, holy like to hear the lord's will if you uh, as an expression Mm -hmm. so they had many many stuff like this which actually um was portraying the become uh, when jesus would come what he would do what he would say Uh, for example in isaiah he said i will speak in parable and you don't understand Mm -hmm. why jesus spoke in parables Exactly. And many other yeah. many prophecies, which are I think some seven hundreds in the Old Testament. Yeah. My friend, yeah. just a moment. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name Allah Praise. He says, "Yeah." If he says in the you, chat, yeah, he says, uh, you call me. Um, I'll be delighted to speak." No, to no, you. just a second. I want you to address this gentleman, since you you know, there's a a guy who says, "Allah Praise." That's his name. He says, "We are above the Ten Commandments." Is that true, my friend? 
Are we Christians above the Ten Commandments? Above the Ten Commandments? Um, we are not. Nobody is. In fact, Jesus even. Did you hear it? Allah yes. praise. You're wrong, my friend. Allah praise. Even... You're wrong. We are not above the Ten Commandments. We yes. are... Jesus. You have to, to even listen said carefully. That yeah. The, the the heaven and earth will pass, but not a title mm -hmm. of the law, because mm -hmm. that's God, um, a character. Yeah. That's he says, he's answering, he says, we are under grace, which is higher than the Ten Commandments. That's what he's grace. saying. Grace, it's God of mercy. Yeah. God have mercy for all the world. That's why he sent his son. He even loves the one which are not saved, because the world in the Bible are the ones that are not saved. Mm -hmm. He loves you too. But if you respond to his love, exactly. say, I don't want your son, I don't want your, your son covenant, yes. and uh, God won't force on you yeah. anything. Yeah. It's yeah. your own decision, it's your own life, and I think you, do sh you should do more studies, yeah. my friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Kim, say, Kim, our sister Kim says in the chat, we must follow God's moral commands commandments but not the law of Moses exactly Kim says exactly the exactly. point then that's yeah. not the law of Moses that's the law of God who wrote Amen. his own finger exactly in the stone yeah. the, the law of Moses because it's compiled in the Torah which is our five first books and then the prophets which are the rest of the books uh, and all together yeah. make the Old Testament exactly the thing is, uh, if you, God is love and Allah is not love, it's anything else but love. Because yeah. if he would have had love, he wouldn't be guiding only what you said, you are uh, almost 1.7 billion or whatever. They are 11 billion people in the world which he wants to send to hell. So I wouldn't say that a loving God. Yeah, exactly, exactly, my friend. You know, every Muslim will see hellfire with his own eyes. I mean, why would you? want to be a Muslim in 2020 well where Allah is making sure that you as a Muslim if you are even if you are the best Muslim you will see with your own eyes you will see hellfire they are they are not wow. they don't have a covenant with Allah they are not sure if Muhammad yes. died he said he I would I don't know what he would be done to me Exactly. I mean, if the greatest, the greatest, <laughs> the seal of the prophet does yeah. know what's going to have attention to him, not the rest. Yeah. I mean, exactly. how how could you tell where would you go when you die? Uh, Muslims, please, please uh, gain knowledge. It's your own interest. It makes the difference between eternity and uh, eternity, eternal life and eternal damnation. Yeah. If, if this worth anything, you would uh, search, you would listen, you exactly. would do anything. Like um, the Dawah team, that the crucifixion thing, they, they just brought up some uh, books from the 10th century and they wanted uh, the uh, Christian to authenticate them, yeah? Probably yeah. you've seen. Why he didn't quote the a pilot uh, letter to Aurelius or Tiberius, mm -hmm. why they didn't call the letter of Claudia Procula, why they didn't tell us what the result was in the trial of Jesus that uh, Pavel and uh, Maria Magdalene took mm -hmm. to the Roman uh, Emperor, mm -hmm. what was the end of it and why? Why didn't they bring like, um, you know, that was uh, in matter of years because Tiberius died in 37, Jesus being crucified, yes. uh, majority agrees 30 to 33 AD. So why they didn't bring like seven year um, a reference, but they bring then a thousand years and they just want us to authenticate uh, them, which is crazy and madness. Mm. And exactly, my friend. Yeah. Not only that, we have the mm. testimony of the soldiers who guarded the tomb. Yeah, with, ca can you imagine? We have so many eyewitnesses. We have I so many that. evidence. But Islam, when we ask Muslims, can you show me any eyewitness for uh, Jibril that Muhammad saw Jibril? They can't I, show us. We have Khadija, her, her false testimony, her false assumption. And what what we what do we always say about assumption? It's the mother of all f ups, right? The, the Khadija reason, didn't see Jibril. Waraka didn't see Jibril. So where's the eyewitness for Muhammad? Where are his prophecies that are fulfilled? Where are his miracles? Nothing. Yeah, and the Nada. trouble is that Muslim has a lot of faith. I I just 
pray that they would uh, take take it to the right direction because mm -hmm. they take to to through faith a lot of things like Mohammed to the seven heaven like um, I don't know yeah. uh, Mubarak you know to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and Allah saying things that although <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. think just a little because this is funny in the Old Testament except Jesus because he was God and he prophesied directly he didn't need to say thus says the Lord yes nowhere Mohammed says thus says the Lord he <laughs> said uh, Muslim you must say that yeah. He never said this is what God told you to do or told you to say or God actually never spoken to him. All we know is that he has two right hands, one foot and one shin. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, yeah, and, and whenever uh, Jibril came, he came. We you know with the sound of bells, but we see that that uh, jinns come with the sounds of bells. Satan comes with the sound of bell. Uh, Muhammad falls on the ground with shaking, with foam on his mouth. You know. Yeah, so These it's are not no, the, Muhammad was not a normal. It, it is person. funny, and yeah. if you read, uh, I, I mean, you can prove, uh, except yeah. I think uh, the book of the of Ruth, which yeah. uh, God doesn't speak in it. We just put it in the uh, in the Bible because obviously God worked through her, or didn't speak directly to her. Yeah. From any book of the Bible, we can almost. I think from any we can prove Jesus is Lord, even Old or New Testament, I don't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because in the Shama Israel, uh, if you want, I'll let you go, and, but just let me finish this one. Mm -hmm. uh, the stupid royal we, they keep bringing up. <laughs> the royal see, we. There's nothing called royal we in of Islam. Of course there is yeah. not. Yeah. This is uh, what I wanted to say. When emperor, and even today we still have monarchies, you're never going to say... We, the queens of English, decided this. <laughs> so it's quite... Uh, yeah. But they, they, they have to say that just like the Jews, because maybe... Exactly. You know, Muhammad because, wanted to copy the Old Testament, right? <laughs> no, they are in difficulty yeah. with the yeah. term Elohim. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So Elohim yeah. for brother... Yeah, even, even Deuteronomy 6.4, my friend, even Deuteronomy 6.4, if you dissect it, it actually says, Lord, Lord, Lord. Echad, yeah. right? So here the Trinity, our triune God is confirmed. It says Lord, basically it says Lord, 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 Echad. Not Yahid, but Echad. But Echad means unity, right? The yes. unified one. It's, it's also the term. It's not Yahid, it's Echad, unified one. It's also the term used for the Adam and Eve when they met intimately. It means the relationship the with Echad, the Godhead. right? Echad again, yeah. Yeah, it's it's the relationship in the Godhead and Amen. the trouble yeah. they have is that that's the first commandment. Here O Israel, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Echad. Lord, 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 Echad. Exactly as you just said it. So here, the Father, exactly. the Son and the Holy Spirit are Echad, unified in one, as yes. one. Yeah. And, and everything that God does, uh, it's like, uh, see, that's why God is so... Um, yeah. It's so uh, great because he thinks ahead of time. He knew Islam would come. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you saw the movies with the pictogram attached to Yahweh name. Mm, no, no, sorry. Uh, yeah. Greek, uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, for every letter has an, a number value, but also a pictogram because in the beginning the writing was in pictogram. For example, Egyptian used a bird for a million, say. Mm -hmm. So if you if you took the pictogram and attached to the tetagrammaton the first word yeah yud hey vav hey it's actually behold the hand behold the nail that's what I am stands for. Wow! When Jesus and said I am right before exactly. he read I am he there exactly. Jesus claimed divinity uh, divinity right there exactly. Jesus claimed to be God himself the because I am. He yeah. told Moses in the bush look for the for the crucifixion that's why he said before Abraham was I am and he was he saw my day and he was glad yeah he was very happy yes exactly amen to that my friend and my friend I I have many callers if you I don't know. mind you know uh, you we, we want to give everybody a time. fair time I took a lot of your time no problem my friend it's if it you was want a to blessing. call me please feel free <laughs> yeah you too my friend don't hesitate okay bless you and all Christians are welcome to call thank you thank you God bless thank you, you. 
Thank you for your amazing call. God bless you and your family. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye. Guys, uh, before we take other calls, I want to uh, play a small video that I created uh, and shared on YouTube. Maybe some people didn't watch it yet. I really want to share it with, with you and then we will continue taking calls. All right, guys? So let me play that video. Uh, just a second. Let me look for it up. Let me look for it. Let's see if we can. Right. This is the video, guys. Maybe you have seen it of Ahmadidad when he made a embarrassing challenge with the our dear friend Josh McDowell. Right in that debate with Josh McDowell, Ahmadidad made a challenge and see how Ahmadidad single-handedly destroyed his own career. Let me play this video if you didn't watch it and we will continue from there and we'll take other calls too. Let me play the video. Many Muslims consider Ahmadidad to be the best Muslim apologist and debater of his time. Ahmadidad used to debate Christians in the 80s. Ahmadidad challenged the holy living God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are talking about 35 years ago. Many of you know the devastating end of Ahmadidad. In the 80s, Dida debated a Christian apologist by the name of Josh McDowell. We actually believe that God set up Ahmadidat in that debate to embarrass him in front of many people. Among the crowd were hundreds of Muslims and Christians. In that debate, Ahmadidat made an embarrassing challenge that actually ended his career. There is not a single statement made by Jesus Christ that I was dead and I have come back from the dead. Jesus Christ never uttered that word that I have come back from the dead. I, I'm not sure that I heard myself that you said nowhere in the 27 books of the New Testament did Jesus ever say he was dead, dead and alive. May I read to you from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 18? He said, I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Ahmadidad, as you heard, was defeated in this debate. Josh McDowell completely annihilated him by quoting the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 and you heard Josh McDowell quoted Ahmadidat and asked him did you just say that nowhere in the 27 books of the New Testament where Jesus said I was dead and I came to life and you heard the response of the crowd when Josh McDowell quoted the book of Revelation 1:18. I am the living one, I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Glory to Jesus, the name above all names. He is risen, and risen is he indeed. Hallelujah. Muslims, as you see guys, <laughs> Ahmed Didad, Ahmed Didad destroyed his own career. His career from that moment on, was completely destroyed. He himself with that challenge destroyed 
himself, exposed himself for everybody to see. It was from that moment on, bye bye Ahmadida, thank you, thank you, it's over, it's game over for you. Because you cannot claim to be one of the best debaters, one of the best Muslim apologists and make such a stupid mistake. Because the core teaching, the core doctrine of the Christian belief, right, of the Christian faith is that Jesus died and resurrected. You cannot make that mistake and go away with it. People will be there like Josh McDowell and they will completely spank you and serve you for everybody to see. And I think, guys, this is one of the reasons. I don't want to speak ill of Ahmadidad, but this actually, you know, when he made that statement, he knew. He knew it was over for him. And actually, uh, the daughter of Ahmadidat, guys, if you know, of maybe her, the daughter of Ahmadidat, she went to see Josh McDowell and she told him, one of the last books, I think the, the last book that Ahmadidat wanted was the book of Josh McDowell. And I really hope, guys, we don't hate Muslims, but I really hope for the Ahmadidat that when he was on his deathbed, he accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. I truly hope so. He has done a lot of damage, right? In the 80s. A lot of damage. He exposed himself. He deceived many Muslims. Right? Many sincere Muslims actually from... When they heard how Josh McDowell spanked him, they dropped uh, Ahmadidat, right? They used to consider him as, as their hero, right? But they dropped him after that embarrassing statement, right? And as you see, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1. This is the revelation of Jesus. If Muslims are going to say, no, no, these are the words of uh, John. No, this is the, the revelation of Jesus. Do you see it? And let us go to that part. To verse 18. Let me go down. Verse 18. Jesus is the one talking. And the one who lives... I was dead, but look, now I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and of Hades. So do you see, not only is Jesus alive again, he was dead, but he is alive forever and ever. He also holds the keys of death and of Hades. And he is commanding through the Holy Spirit, John, to write. Write this down, John, right? This is why we call it the book of Revelation. The revelation from who? From Jesus himself through the Holy Spirit. So Muslims, how dare you to insult our Lord and Savior? How dare you, Ahmadidat? Shame on you, Muslims. How dare you to insult our Lord, our holy living Lord, Jesus Christ? Shame on you, Muslims. Please come back home. Don't further insult Lord Jesus Christ. Don't do it. It's your funeral, right? Let us see, guys, if we can accept more calls. Let us see. Uh, let me go back to Skype. Let us see if we can take another call. Wow. I'm getting... Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube, wow. please. Hello? Mute YouTube, please. Hello? Yeah, hello. Welcome. Your life on air. Hi, I, brother. I, Hi. Hey, I, I, I was having two calls at the same time. Can you imagine? I know a lot of people <laughs> want to call us. Guys, sorry. Guys, sorry. I think I'm I really, think every, I'm really every, saying sorry for to everybody who wants to call me. But, you know, our we have a really small window, right? Yeah, as you see, many people I want to call. But, guys, I will try my best to take all the calls. But please bear with us, okay? Go ahead, my friend. Your life on air. Go ahead. I, I think everybody was waiting to, to, to press the call button. <laughs> I think uh, so too. Go ahead, bro. Hi, hi, Rob. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. I think we spoke before, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, uh, last I time. Remember, a week I remember. Ago, yeah. A week ago. Yeah, a week ago. Okay. Go ahead. I have, I have two questions uh, mm. about one hadith in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari uh, 6205. Yes. I think that's the clear proof uh, for the question, who is the Antichrist? Uh, I read can for you. Can you read it? Yeah, can yes. you read it? Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger, 
uh, Allah prays on him, said, the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection will be that of a man calling himself Malik al-Amlak, the king of kings. Uh, so are you saying that he and Muhammad insulted Jesus? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't know. I think it's I think it's clear. I think when when Muhammad said the uh, the most awful name in Allah's sight is the King of Kings, mm -hmm. we 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 all know who is the King of Kings. Yeah. Do you see it, guys? This is the Hadith. This is Sahih al Bukhari speaking from Cave Hira 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 Sahih al Bukhari Hadith number sixty two o five. This is the reference. It says the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection will be that of a man calling himself Malik al-Amlak. Malik al-Amlak, yes, the king of kings. So here, Muhammad, do you see how much Muhammad hated Jesus? Because Jesus claimed to be the king of kings, right? Thank you for this hadith, my man. Go ahead. Yes, and uh, then I have a second question about the Ramadan, this, uh, this, this, this holy month for the pagans. Uh, is there any proof from Islamic sources that uh, Ramadan is uh, a pre-Islamic uh, yes. tradition? Yes. It's Can in the you Quran. Can it's in really? The Quran. Yeah. Uh, if we go to the Quran, just let, just a second. I hope I can find it immediately for you. Uh, let's see. Pa, pa, pa. I hope I can find the ayah very quickly. Just, just give me a moment, okay, my no friend? No problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, uh, I have so many links, so many things, right? <laughs> just to see, let me see, let me see. If I can find it very easily. Oh, sometimes, my friend, I am swimming <laughs> in, in the reference, Islamic reference. Uh, uh, just a second. <coughs> Shahru Ramadan. I'm trying to find it. The Shah, the word Shah, my friend, means mm -hmm. uh, the new moon, right? It yes. Means, it means the new moon. When Muslims uh, celebrate Ramadan, they are celebrating the coming of the new moon. So the word Shah actually is a modern name. The modern meaning of it means uh, the month. But, but in the same but, ayah, yeah. But it's originally it's moon. Yes, it's the new moon. Shahr. The new moon. The word shahr it originally it means moon, and we we can actually find it in the Quran. I'm trying to find the ayah. Let's see if I can. You know, so, sometimes guys, stop calling me when I'm in the middle of a call. You're not helping. Just a second, guys. I think it's in chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Chapter 2? Is it chapter 2? I hope it's in chapter 2. Because, you know, when I say something, I want to show it on the screen, right? Before yes, Muslims want to call it to call us liars. Chapter 2, let me scroll down. I really hope this is the one. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Chapter... Okay. Let's see if I can get a uh, good translation. I think this is the one, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is the word, right? You, you see the word shahar? This is the Arabic word. It means the month, right? And again, the same word, you can find it here. al shahar shahar mm -hmm. Shahru Ramadan. Shahru mm -hmm. Ramadan. This is the first word, shahar And al shahar the month. The month. But the mm -hmm. word... I'm trying to find the correct the correct translation that you see that it says the coming of the new moon. I'm not sure which translation I can use to show you guys that to prove to you that it means the new moon. Just a second. Was it Maududi? No, not Maududi. They are all doing taqiyya. Yes, of course. <laughs> in the translation. Just, guys, bear with me, okay? I will try to go through all of them just to show you that we are not lying, guys. When we say, we make the claim that Shahr actually means uh, coming of the new moon, celebrating of the new moon. And not this one, also Taqiyya. You see how many Taqiyya there is? There is 
there is no no one truthful Muslim. Mm, next, <laughs> next victim, next victim of Taqiyya. <laughs> And in, in this verse is the proof that the Ramadan was uh, a pre-Islamic tradition. Yeah, actually the uh, the people who used to live in Mecca, including the the pagans, right? Yes. The, the pagans they used to celebrate Ramadan, and especially the Sabi'a, right? The Sabi'in or Sabi'un. Those people had Shahada. They uh, practiced. Uh, tawaf around the Kaaba seven times. They went seven times around the Kaaba. They used to kiss the black stones. They even had their own shahada and they celebrated Ramadan. So Ramadan is actually not uh, any new ritual. You see here. It's 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 here, the, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing it? with Ash with Ashura. Yes. Yeah, see? Do you see? Do you see the screen? The crescent, right? The crescent on the first the night. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying, to, uh, there was a very good translation for it. Maybe they removed it or something, I don't know. Uh, so, okay, this one not. This one eat the, the word, <laughs> the moon. Anyway, but you saw the words, the crescent moon, right? Yes, 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 of yeah. course. I, 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 I think it's, it's clear, yes. Yeah. Uh, the month of Ramadan, no, it's not the month. It's the, it's the, it's the same story with the word Nikah. Yes, every, Nikah. Every, every, yeah. every, Muslim, every Muslim say to me today, no, that's marriage, that's marriage. I say, no, the yeah. original meaning of Nikah is yeah. sex. Yeah, it's sexual to cause. I mean, when you say in Arabic, I want to do Nikah with my hand, what are you trying to do with your hand, right? You know, God forbid, guys, I don't want to go into the nasty uh, things. But when you say in and Arabic, talk, I want talk, to do with nikah with my, with my hand, that means you're menstruating, right? Yes, we talk about Islam. That's the normal language in Islam. Uh, I'm trying, you know, I think they played with the translation or something. I don't know, man. I, I, I need to uh, take some time no problem, guys, no problem, to find no problem. the correct, because when I say something, I don't want to say, you know, here, here, do you see it guys? It's in front of you. Yeah, someone says, marry your hand. So when you're going to do nikah with your hand, are you going to marry? <laughs> Ask the imam to uh, marry you with your own hand? No. Nikah, and unfortunately, many Asian non-Arabic speakers even use the word nikah for uh, marriage. But it's dirty. I mean, I mean, let's say you're an Arab, my friend. You go to an Arabic father and you want to ask the hand of his, of, uh, of his daughter for marriage. When of you course. say to him, I want to do nikah to your daughter, you know what he's going to do? He's going to go to the kitchen, <laughs> grab a knife, and he's going to hunt you forever. He's going to go I... and run after you to, to stab you in your back, my friend, because you're basically saying to him, I want to have sexual intercourse with your daughter. You know, I don't today? Know, right? st still today? Still today? Of course. But they but, try to... to but, why you know, the Muslims say, but why the Muslims say this is uh, marriage? Uh, hello, like Taqiyya like, 101. Yes, <laughs> but I, 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 I don't understand. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It is, it is what it is, my friend. This is and... The last question, uh, I watch a small video, I can't find it, uh, about the biography of Muhammad. Yeah. Ibn Hisham, Ibn Ishaq, no, Ibn Ishaq is the first and then Ibn Hisham was the student. Ibn Ishaq, no, Ibn Ishaq is the one who was commanded by that caliph, right, to uh, write down the biography of Muhammad, because before that, there was no biography of the Prophet of Islam, about the Prophet of Islam. Yes. So, and, I, and I hear... Uh, just let me finish, my friend. Let oh, me sorry, finish. sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. No sorry. problem. So he was commanded, Ibn Ishaq was commanded to write down the biography. He wrote it down and the original is lost. We don't have the original anymore. Now, this, the student of Ibn Ishaq again took some part of it. He rewrote it. And then the student, the final student of the student of the, of the student, he took it and rewrote it again. And that was Ibn Hisham. So Ibn Hisham 
Ibn Hisham is the student of the, stu uh, of the master. So, so master, the master is uh, Ibn Ishaq, then the student, and then the last one is Ibn Hisham. Can you imagine? Okay. And we don't have the yes. original. We yes. don't have the original, like the Quran. Okay. And in this biography, uh, yes. I there is so many uh, copying things from Jesus. Uh, example, uh, the, the 12 uh, disciples of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anything with Muhammad, he has also 12. Yes, uh, exactly. Then, uh, Ibn, Ibn Ishaq wanted to copy the yes, story of Jesus. So, he so wanted, one, you know, one. I, I mentioned this uh, today. There was another caller who mentioned this uh, story. Uh, you know, Ib, uh, Ibn Ishaq, because he had a Christian background, he comes from a Christian family, Ibn Ishaq wanted to make Muhammad look like Jesus, you know, uh, and, and our friend, uh, the ex-Muslim, very, very dear brother of ours, uh, Mr. Rashid, right, when he was invited to, to the live show of David Wood, he made a nice mm -hmm. PowerPoint, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, for everybody, and he was showing everybody how Ibn Ishaq was trying to copy Jesus, right? He was like, he was trying to make Muhammad look like Jesus. Yes, yes, that, that yes. was this video. Yes, of course. Yes, Brother Rashid with David Wood. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, just a question for the Muslims. Uh, yeah. These people who wrote this biography, yeah. they must write this biography. It's not for of faith or law for the Prophet Muhammad. They, yeah. it's what it was an order to write this down. It's nothing with uh, love to the Prophet or something yeah, my friend, like this. Not only Ramadan, not only Ramadan uh, is, was a pagan ritual, even Hajj, Hajj, Hajj the word Hajj, the word everything, Hajj, everything. The word Hajj, my friend, the word Hajj, let me show you on the screen. The word Hajj comes from the word Hak, 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 Ahtikak. Let me put it bigger on the screen for the people, they can see it. Here, as you see, Hajj. Hajj means uh, basically the pilgrimage that they do to Mecca, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really big business for the Saudis. So the word Hajj comes from the word Hak, right? Hak means robbing. Robbing, al yes. Al-Ihtikak of the menstrual blood on the black stone. The robbing <laughs> of the menstrual blood, guys, the women, when they used to bleed, you know, they're <clears throat> they put it on the black stone for fertility reasons so the, even the word hajj was a pagan they used to you know the the pagans of mecca they used to go seven times around the kaaba they used to do sexual activities they used to have sex around the kaaba and they put the menstrual blood of the women the women themselves put it on the black stone so they will get healthy kids so they were actually invoking right mm -hmm. <clears throat> the their their idols so they will get healthy children, healthy seed, healthy, you know, pregnancy. Yes, 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 yes. And just, just, just a short story for you, and then I let you go. Yes. Uh, a few days, few days ago, uh, uh, my friend said to me, "You need to talk with my imam." And I said to him, "Okay, I have a few questions, only a few questions for your imam." Mm -hmm. And then I asked the imam. Uh, in the Quran uh, is uh, Allah say he is the light. <laughs> the what, light. And then I asked the Imam what Allah means when he say he is the light. Mm. Then the Imam says that means he is God. Yeah. They okay, say I you. say to him okay I say to him okay thank you a second question. Thank you. Yes. Allah <laughs> Allah say Allah says he is the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. Al -awwal, and say, al -awwal wal -akhir, right? Yes. And, and I say, and, and, I, and, I, <laughs> and I ask him what Allah means with this. And he say he means also he is God. Guys, watch, I, watch, and, watch what this gentleman did. Guys, pay attention. So Allah claims I, to be the light of the world and Allah claims to be the first and last. Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. Yes. And the Imam, uh, yeah. the Imam confirmed that's the meaning of he is God. When Allah say he is the light and mean he is God. And when exactly. he is the beginning and the end and mean he is God. And I give the hand to the Imam and say, thank you. So I am with Jesus. I am with the only right God because Jesus claims that 700 years before your exactly. Allah. Exactly. 600 years before Muhammad. 600 came. years. Yeah. 
Muhammad was copying Jesus exactly. Jesus said, "I'm the first and last." He also claimed to be the light of the world. So, <laughs> so actually, the, here the Imam proved that actually and agrees with you that Jesus is God. Exactly. Yes, but but only for the Christians. When when you when you talk to to the Muslims, don't uh, try try to trap them. Try mm -hmm. to say the Muslim a thing which is in your in, for 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 our for our, for for us good. Yeah. Then he need to swallow his words or yeah yes okay uh, brother I I'll, I'll let you go no problem thank you thank you for calling keep calling us my friend it's a blessing to talk to you and, thank you very uh, much we will see each other Lord willing and again on a future uh, call thank you thank of you course for God bless you God bye bless bye. You too. bye bye guys I don't want to uh, stay much longer to be honest with you because I just noticed uh, that brother David Wood uh started his live show i don't want to be a stumbling block okay guys you know i'm trying to be humble uh we are already live for two hours five minutes and 36 seconds i think i want to wrap this up guys right and so yeah hatun is also live okay so i see guys um i think it's we had really much fun with you guys. Thank you for the amazing calls. Again, thank you for the support through Patreon. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. If you want to do so, you can also become a patron and support our cause, support our film time ministry. I'm doing this, guys, to only serve. I'm not doing this for myself, but if you can help us, you can become a patron too. Thank you for today's calls, guys. Uh, I think we had... Thanks to the Lord, we had amazing calls. Muslims, Muslims, please come back home to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Muhammad himself did not know what would happen to him. Muhammad was nothing but a fake prophet who tried to copy Jesus. His Sahaba tried to, to make Muhammad look and sound like Jesus. Muslims, since Muhammad didn't know what would happen to him, how do you know? what your salvation is going to look like. Are you going to be saved? Or are, are you going to stay in hellfire? Do you really think that God would insult himself and tell you that he is going to give you a paradise, a garden of Eden full of big-breasted women, you know, swelling breasts, women, uh, and you're going to have sex and Allah will uh, look uh, and enjoy the sight like a big pimp? No. That's an insult, guys. Muslims, you need to wake up. Please come back home to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Guys, thank you for your support. I love you all, including the Muslims. Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Stay safe. And Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show. God bless you. God bless your loved ones and thank you for watching.